I know you have a busy schedule. You said you came directly from teaching Stanford, today. Yeah. <laughs> because tell us what you do. Tell everybody out there what you sure. do at Stanford. Yeah, I teach uh, in the Department of Theater, also in the Graduate School of Business and School of Medicine. So I teach acting and communication skills to business people, also to doctors, and uh, teach people all over the university how to act and have a, an appreciation for the process of I think theater. that's wonderful. You even work in the Department of Medicine. Yes, I do. So yeah. doctors. Yes, I, I have and a workshop tomorrow with a bunch of doctors. That's oh my right. gosh, I think that's 30, so much fun. Doctors. My daughter's a doctor, so oh, she, she would appreciate that. Right. You know, acting and music yeah. really kind of go with medicine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, some doctors are great singers and great musicians. <laughs> well, you know, you could always have two professions, as we all know. <laughs> right. Right? right. But that's so interesting. Yeah. And then you studied acting and yourself. Yeah, I went to American Conservatory actress. Theater here at ACT in San Francisco. That's yeah. where I got my master's degree. Excellent and, uh, school. Yeah, I taught there for quite Excellent. a few years. And I've been at Stanford for 18 years. For 18 yeah. years. It's, I, it's so exciting. Yeah. Now, what about your career as a vocalist? You've been doing that too all along, or when did you start singing? No, I started singing uh, later in, in my career. I mean, I did musical theater much like you did, and uh, but I always had a love for jazz. You know, I grew up uh, singing, as I said, <laughs> with my family. Uh, I come from a Greek family, but they saw all the greats uh, passing through Baltimore, where I grew up. My mom saw Ella, she saw Duke. Oh, she saw great. Frank Sinatra, mm -hmm. she saw Desi Arnaz. I mean, just everybody. So they knew all the standards. So they taught me how to harmonize. And when I started singing jazz, I found that I knew most of the songs already. They because were already in already, my head. You'd heard yeah. them since yeah. you were going. And yeah. it, quite opposite to me, I was listening to Oklahoma. There you and, go. <laughs> and um, you know Mary Martin and a yeah. few others and yeah. I was listening to all of that when I was growing up so musical theater was really right. my love but I learned more about jazz yeah. later you know yeah. in my career well two of those uh, right know. two of those things uh, the Peter from Peter Pan uh, Never Neverland and uh, oh, also uh, Surrey with the Fringe they're both on my new CD because I do I do Broadway standards as jazz all the time well that's so, it I'm yeah. now I'm inspired and I want to show everybody here's one of your CDs yes yeah, this is one. now is this the one no it has, this it's is being released one. right now that one is right before that's with uh, Larry Vukovich I don't have my glasses on, but will you please tell it's me the view title? from Telegraph Hill. View from Telegraph Hill. And I wrote that title tune with Larry Vukovich. There you go, <laughs> That's everybody. About San Composer, <laughs> vocalist, actress, and it's about San Francisco. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Being a native, I'm really happy oh, that you wrote one. Wonderful. Thank you so much yeah. about the city. I, I know it's a great city in many ways, it is. isn't it? Yes. It's it's very exciting. Yeah. But you do write, and you continually write, or was that the one time? Uh, I work with a bunch of different uh, composers, uh, jazz musicians. I write with Noel Jukes. A lot of our, uh, several of our originals are in my next album, which is called Exotica. Exotica. Uh, yeah, it's because great it's title. a very unusual take. Uh, different arrangements on jazz standards and I get to use a lot of my upper range which I don't use my soprano range very often so I open up on this one I bet you got one too right I, I, I do I used on. to have a better it. soprano range <laughs> I, you know but I can hear it in your voice and yeah. I've been told yes they know somebody said yeah. I know you're a soprano yeah. well I used to do much more lyric soprano work uh, oh. but when I did more clubby you know traveling mm -hmm. on the road I think I got it more into using my lower register. Exactly. That's what happens. You don't That's use a happens. lot of soprano. <laughs> you don't use a lot of soprano anymore unless you're in a show or some, right. you know, some reason to use it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would love for everyone to see the video. Can we do that a little bit? A piece of the video that you, well, that we have 